Imagine waking a sleeping giant that's been silent for nearly six decades, a 600-ton beast of steel, steam, and history. What would it take to bring back one of the most powerful steam locomotive ever built? And why would anyone even try? This is the story of Union Pacific's Big Boy 4014, a machine built to conquer the Wasatch Mountains, so massive it hauled freight over the Rocky Mountains like it was nothing. It all began in late 2012, when Union Pacific dared to chase what seemed like an impossible dream, to bring back one of the world's largest steam locomotives to working condition. These engines weighed a staggering 1.2 million pounds, and were built to conquer the toughest mountain grades of the American West. The man leading this mission was Ed Dickens, head of Union Pacific's Heritage Operations. One day he was called into the Omaha headquarters and asked a deceptively simple question. Can we restore a big boy? That question would ignite one of the boldest restoration efforts in modern railroading. Out of the 25 big boys built between 1941 and 1944, only eight had survived. After months of inspection, big boy 4014, sitting quietly in Pomona, California, since 1962, was chosen. On July 23, 2013, a deal was struck. 4014 would return home in exchange for a diesel and a caboose. By April 2014, the colossal machine began its 1,250-mile journey to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Crowds lined the tracks, cheering as the sleeping giant rumbled past, a legend on the move once more. By August 2016, the real battle had begun. Ed Dickens and his small team of engineers and craftsmen officially rolled up their sleeves and started restoring the Big Boy 4014, a task Dickens himself called the largest steam locomotive restoration in the last 50 years. And honestly, that's not an exaggeration. Imagine trying to breathe life into a 1.2 million pound machine built in the 1940s. It needed a mix of century old craftsmanship and 21st century engineering. The team wasn't big, just eight or nine people, but every one of them was a master of their trade. Among them were boilermakers Don Crerar and James Thompson from Topeka, Kansas, men who knew what it meant to get their hands dirty rebuilding steel giants. So where do you even start with a 600-ton legend? You take it apart, piece by piece. The locomotive and its tender were separated, which meant removing two enormous steel bars, each with seven-inch holes at both ends. By early 2017, Big Boy was stripped down to its bare frame. Only then, did the team fully grasp the mountain ahead. Dickens later said the toughest part wasn't the rebuild, it was tearing down the whole locomotive and starting from scratch. Even the Union Pacific Steam Shop needed a makeover to handle such a colossal machine. The crew tore down an old false ceiling that had been added when the shop switched to diesel maintenance decades ago. They upgraded the electrical systems, installed new lighting, and planned a massive 40-ton crane. When they finally got inside the boiler, they were surprised it was in remarkably good shape. If we've been surprised, it's that there haven't been surprises, Dickens joked. But the firebox was another story. It needed major surgery, over 500 stay bolts, small steel fasteners that hold the firebox walls together had to be replaced. Years of acidic ash had eaten away at the metal. The work was backbreaking. As Dickens put it, you do too and you want to go home. Each stay bolt had to be removed, threads retapped, and new bolts installed, all while workers crouched inside the firebox using air-powered rivet guns to drive 1,800-degree rivets into place. It was loud, exhausting, and brutally hot, the kind of work that separates enthusiasts from legends. To make sure the boiler could safely hold pressure, they used ultrasonic sound testing to check the metal thickness scanning every inch. Any worn out tubing and piping beneath the boiler, the parts that would be unreachable once reassembled, were replaced. Piece by piece, bolt by bolt, the sleeping giant was slowly coming back to life. One of the biggest transformations in the big boy restoration wasn't about rebuilding old steel. It was about rethinking how the giant would breathe fire again. 
Originally, these locomotives were coal-burning monsters. They could devour 28 tons of coal in just a few hours, spewing ash and cinders that rained down on everything nearby. Impressive, yes, but not exactly practical or safe in today's world. So Ed Dickens and his crew made a bold decision. Convert number 4014 to run on oil instead of coal. The logistics of coal are very impractical for a big boy, Dickens explained. It can be a fire hazard. The process was anything but simple. The firebox grates, where coal once burned, were removed and replaced with a heavy steel fire pan, reinforced to hold the new oil burner. The team designed a custom burner system that atomized number five fuel oil into a fine mist, mixing it with air to create a controlled, roaring fireball inside the firebox. They even developed a special venturi system that directed airflow around the burner, keeping it cool and improving combustion efficiency. But here's a twist. It wasn't the first time a big boy had been converted. Number 4005 was tested with oil back in the late 1940s, but that experiment failed. This time, though, the crew had decades of experience to build on, thanks to their work with other oil-burning locomotives like number 844 and Challenger number 3985. The tender, originally built to carry coal, was also redesigned to store oil, fitted with heating coils to keep the fuel from thickening in cold weather. This modern upgrade meant Big Boy could operate safely, cleanly, and more efficiently than ever before, all while keeping its thunderous personality intact. Now, most of the original parts hadn't been made in over 70 years, so the team had to create many from scratch. In the Cheyenne Steam Shop, bins filled up with freshly machined components, new rod brasses, check valves, and lubrication fittings, all custom built to match the original blueprints. But what do you think was one of the hardest puzzles? Actually, it was the massive leaf springs that supported the locomotive. Each one had to hold the 30,000 pounds, and no modern company could reproduce them. Dickens reached out to specialists in Canada, Germany, the UK, and all over the US, trying to find anyone capable of fabricating and heat treating them. We may have to do it ourselves, he admitted. Even the driving wheels demanded expert help. They were shipped all the way to Strasbourg Railroad in Pennsylvania for crank pin, axle, and tire work. A huge task considering the big boy had twice as many drive axles as its smaller sibling, number 844. Despite all the modern challenges, the crew stayed true to one principle. Rebuild the big boy exactly as it was originally built. No shortcuts, no gimmicks. Steam locomotives are complicated enough, they said. Changing something small could cause big problems later. Every bolt, rivet, and spring was installed with care because this wasn't just a restoration. It was a resurrection. But after all that effort, how would they know if the big boy was truly alive again? The answer came with its first movement. By early 2018, the rebirth of Union Pacific's Big Boy 4014 was finally turning from dream to reality. Inside the Cheyenne Steam Shop, a team of engineers, machinists, and steam veterans were breathing life back into a legend that had slept for nearly 60 years. The giant's massive boiler and firebox, its very heart and lungs, were being pieced back together. Each bolt, plate, and rivet marked a small victory in a battle against time and rust. For decades, 4014 had sat silent under the California sun. Now, its steel heart was beginning to beat again. By January 2019, the restoration was nearly complete. What had once seemed impossible was now within reach. Then came the ultimate test, the hydrostatic pressure test on February 6, 2019. The team filled the boiler with water and pressurized it beyond its normal operating level, searching for even the smallest leak or flaw. The tension was thick, and then success. Big boy passed. The massive boiler could once again handle the pressure of live steam. It was official. Big boy was ready to wake. Then came the moment that would make railroad history. On April 9th, 2019, after six decades of silence, 
Fire returned to the firebox. Flames danced inside the steel cavern, the air filled with the unmistakable scent of burning oil and hot metal. The sight was surreal. This was an era reborn. Steam hissed, the safety valves sang, and Big Boy was alive again. But the true miracle came a few weeks later. Late on the night of May 1st, 2019, under the Wyoming stars, Big Boy moved under its own power for the first time in nearly 60 years. Steam billowed from its stack. Metal groaned in protest, and the ground seemed to tremble beneath its frame. For those who stood nearby, it was pure magic. A moment that blended nostalgia, engineering brilliance, and raw emotion. They weren't just watching a locomotive move. They were witnessing history roll forward. The very next day on May 2nd, Big Boy embarked on its first test run from Cheyenne to Nun, Colorado. Its whistle, rough at first but unmistakably alive, echoed across the plains. For rail fans, that sound was almost spiritual, a voice from another century calling out once more. That May, Big Boy's return became part of something much bigger. The 150th anniversary of the completion of the first transcontinental railroad. On May 4th, Big Boy joined its old partner, the sleek number 844, for an event called the Great Race to Ogden. Together, the two steam titans thundered across Wyoming and Utah, retracing the path their ancestors had blazed a century and a half earlier. When the locomotives stood nose to nose at Ogden on May 9, 2019, just like at the Golden Spike Ceremony of 1869, the crowd erupted. Thousands of people cheered, many with tears in their eyes. This moment was about endurance, legacy, and the timeless human drive to keep history alive. Today, Big Boy 4014 stands as the world's largest operating steam locomotive, a living legend that proves the soul of steam still burns bright. Keep an eye out. Celebration of America's 250th birthday, Big Boy may make its triumphant return to the rails. This iron giant, a living symbol of American innovation and industrial might, will possibly once again thunder across the nation, uniting communities in a rolling tribute to history, progress, and the enduring spirit of the railroad. What do you think? Was bringing Big Boy 4014 back to life worth the years of effort? Would you have taken on a challenge like that? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you love seeing history roar back to life, Hit that like button and subscribe for more legendary stories like this one.